Hi everybody, Happy New Year and welcome to 2022. It's that time for resolutions. So mine for this year are to run marathons in four more states, to run the Berlin Marathon in September, uh, and to do a lot more trail, well, not a lot, but at least to do some more trail running uh, in my Virginia. So as for the YouTube channel, our goal is to do at least one a month. Uh, we think we can do more than that, but we're going to at least promise to get out one video a month. In addition to our state races and shoe reviews, we're going to be doing other tips such as getting a running coach, a personal fitness coach, and doing lists of the favorite places we've been to thus far. If this is one of your first times watching one of our shoe reviews, my goal is to, one, just tell you how the shoe felt, but most importantly, how it held up over 300 miles so you know just how much shoe you're getting for your money. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, now would be a great time to do it, starting off the new year. So with all the excitement for the new year, I'm going to start off with talking about one of the most boring shoes I think I've ever run in, the Saucony Ride 14. Uh, let's start off with the basics for this one. It's a neutral stability, road running shoe. Saucony rates it as moderate cushioning. It has an 8mm drop, though I've seen some places say it's 6 but Saucony says it's 8 millimeters, and I think they'd be the authority on that one. I wear a size 12, which weighed in at 11.11 ounces. That's 315 grams. I uh, found it pretty much true to size, and the cost, $130. Saucony advertises these as a shoe that cater to all types of runners. That means, basically, they've tried to find that midpoint for cushioning, stability, and responsiveness. So before I even wrote this review, uh, I went to the thesaurus and tried to find as many synonyms as I could for, for OK, because I didn't want to keep saying OK the entire time. So we'll tick them off as we go. So uh, starting with the fit, let's go right up here to the toe box. You know, I said they're true to size and, and they are, but uh, for, my, for 12, I will tell you I was right at the tip of these. I wouldn't have gone any larger and I didn't feel like I, they were ever too tight, even you know, when I wore them in the summer and I swelled up. Uh, but they're, they're close to being a little small, running a little small. We move up to the midsole. This has a gusseted tongue, as you can see on the inside there. Um, and uh, I, I thought actually I have narrow feet, and, and I thought this was actually more of a narrow shoe. So uh, I liked it in that regard. Uh, it, it locked me in fine. You know, I, I, I've said before, I, I don't like these round laces. Uh, I, I just, I like flat ones. I know if I was blindfolded, somebody said guess the lace type, I would never be able to tell you. But, you know, it's just my preference. I just feel like when I get that flatter lace, it, 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 it locks me in. Uh, you move back to the heel cup. Uh, you know, typical heel cup. Uh, it, it kept it, everything just fine. Uh, it didn't slide around at all, locked in pretty well. Well, in the middle of my review, it looks like I got some visitors, so who's going to make it down here? Oh, we've, we've got the beast and then the jealous, I, I won't, the other B word, I won't call her that, so yes, doggies. All right, off you go. Well, since I haven't worn Saucony's before, uh, I can't compare this version 14 to the previous version 13. Uh, I did look at some reviews uh, and they didn't say there was too much change except in the top and then went ahead and looked on Saucony's site and they stated they hadn't changed the sole at all. Uh, all they did was on this top, they made it this uh, form fit technology that combines a new and improved engineered mesh top that optimizes breathability with a lighter thinner internal construction uh i thought that's kind of that's interesting because i thought the shoe actually still was a bit warm when i ran with it so i can only imagine that improving it from the 13 to this uh, must have been pretty good I, I think this this tone we talked about earlier uh it's, it's pretty thick um, I think that's one of the reasons what makes it so tight on the midsole. Uh, but that thickness also, I think, keeps in some of the heat. So 
They may have improved on this 14, but I think they have even more room for improvement going forward. So when I first put them on, I did think they felt a little rigid uh, compared to other shoes. Uh, thought that would change over time. Then the first time I wore them was on a dog walk, which often seems to be the case. And, and certainly when I was done, I remember writing down that they seemed a little stiff. Took them for a six mile run, first, first, my first run in them. And when I was done, I thought they seemed a little stiff uh, and so the you know the responsiveness was was not bad uh, but usually if you don't get a lot more response a lot of responsiveness the trade-off is you get more cushioning and softness uh, and I, I, I felt the cushioning was just adequate um, so it, it, they just seemed to be somewhat of a boring ride so the question is how do these things change over 300 miles well if you've seen my past reviews, I like to put up graphs that talk about how the cushioning changes over 300 miles and also, as well as the responsiveness or reflexivity. Um, there, it was, there's no change. So I'm not even using graphs because again, they're, ju they're just straight line graphs. I mean, this was just nothing. It was really an unnoteworthy experience. Uh, and how was it for different speeds? I would say it's routine. How was it diff on different surfaces? Pedestrian. For the grip and wear on these, you know, the grip, I would say, was just run-of-the-mill. Uh, and f for the look, boring, kind of a mundane look to it. Uh, but for the wear, here's a great thing. You, you like this shoe, uh, it held up terrific. It didn't change. I mean, mile 300 is the same at mile one. Uh, and even for me, uh, I, where I strike, a heel strike, I mean, this this pad has held up terrific uh, I, I have very little wear in the forefoot so so look you're gonna get if you like these shoes um, boy you're gonna have them for a long time you're gonna get a lot of miles for your money which is a great thing but the question is do you like the shoe so uh, so in conclusion uh, you know you know this the ride in a word it's reliable but uninspiring uh, it, it's, I mean, it's designed just to be an everyday workhorse shoe for, you know, folks who, uh, every type of runner, you know, I would think anybody who's, you know, if you've run before, have done some races, tried different shoes, I'd be surprised if you really like this. I think there are just other options that, you know, are going to either give you more cushioning or they're going to give you better return on your reflectivity on it. Um, so, but if not uh you know if you if you're new and you want to just try a, a, a run-of-the-mill shoe to start off with where you're going to get your money's worth here you go the sock and you ride so anybody who's run with this shoe or likes the ride i'd love to hear what it is about the shoe that you like uh please put it in the comment section down below uh the next shoe we're going to be reviewing is the puma nitro uh, and that is definitely not an uninspiring shoe. That uh, that that was very interesting. I, I really enjoyed that one. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you'll know when that one comes out. Uh, in the meantime, again, Happy New Year. Let's hit it for 2022 and let's race the nation. Well, on this rendition of Stupid Things to Argue About with Your Wife, it's the noises that our dog makes. Fortunately, we have an obliging dog who's made an array of sounds over the years, uh, but this most recent one was really unique. Uh, and so we were arguing where Dorothy said it sounded like a seal or sea lion. Uh, and I said, no, I thought it was sounding more like a Tibetan throat singer. But anyways, you can be the judge of that. And also, this is 24 hours after I just did my shoe review. What a difference in the weather, huh?